So is that a concealer? Because concealer means to conceal, you feel me? And it's just good, girl. And I wonder if the cherry one, oh, this is the cherry one, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Now Alicia Keys giving us a concealer and a tint. Let's try this out today. Now I just freshly pressed my wig, honey. We are gonna take it off because I don't wanna get any makeup on the edges of it. I can't stand it, but I will link this in all the products that I use below. I got a towel head wrap on and my eyes are so red, so ignore that. I. I don't know. We're throwing it all the way back with this MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. I am running extremely low on my e.l.f. Cosmetics ones, which is a fraction of the cost of this one. And it's it's discontinued, I'm annoyed. Like, e.l.f., you couldn't send me the whole batch before you discontinued it, like why? I love it so much, but I can't find it, so I can never link it for you. And I'm running low, so I'm like, let me slow down a little bit. I purchased the MAC Prep and Primer. I lived by this when I first began doing makeup and when I was working at MAC. So we're gonna do that, because I love a good lip primer. Now, I was sent two of these products from Alicia Keys. I've got 520, N and 460W. I already feel like the darker, the better for me. We gonna, we gonna figure that out. Got a twist top. This automatically looks like a concealer to me. It looks like a skincare product. It's supposed to be a concealer and a tint, okay? Now, no primer on my face. Let's see how this looks. This looks light. It is light. And this is the darkest one that was sent to me. You see something in my hand? Oh my God. Okay, this is giving, use it as a concealer, but how am I supposed to use it? <laughs> as a concealer, duh, right? But I'm just trying to think, it does match the middle of my face, you see? It's just not going to match the perimeter of my face. Because the middle of our faces are usually, at least in my case, lighter than the outer part of my face. And it probably is the same for you. I mean, by itself, it does look delicious. It does look beautiful. All right, so online it's called the Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. So it's not considered a makeup per se. It's an illuminating priming face serum with a sheer golden tint that complements all skin tones while helping brighten, plump, smooth the look of complexion. It has niacinamide and rose water in it, silicone free. So it's being marketed as a skincare product with a tint to it. It makes sense because I was just gonna say, didn't she stop wearing makeup years ago? So in this case, I mean, it's marketed as a skincare product, but obviously because it has tint to it, I just feel like this is a makeup product, but I get it, I get it. She's no longer technically wearing makeup unless I just don't have the latest from her. This matches me. They actually shade matched me very well. It matches, thank you to Keys Soul Care. Thank you for sending this to me. It matches the middle of my face. If I brought this down here, absolutely not. It is sheer, it does feel good. Of course I have my skincare on. I've uh, SPF on as well, that's important. And this retails for $26, FYI. It looks like nothing. If you like nothing on your face, if you like for your face to look like you have nothing on, go for it. My issue with something like this is because it looks like nothing, I'll think I have nothing on and then touch my face or lay on the pillow or, you know, lay on the couch, whatever, and forget that I have something on that's tinted and the next thing you know, I'm transferring stuff. That's my problem with stuff that just looks like skin. That's part of why I don't like to do that. Either I'm doing a full face or not. I don't want any confusion. I'm not, ooh, that was a lot. I'm not taking a lot. I don't wanna, I'm trying not to rub it because I have on, like I said, SPF. I don't want anything to pill, get crumbly and strange. I don't want that to happen, but this looks really good. I can't imagine using this as a, as a concealer under my eye to brighten. Perhaps a concealer on your face to cover some areas a bit, but because it's giving sheer, light, maybe medium coverage, depending on the blemishes you may or may not have on your face, I can't imagine this being a concealer. You feel what I'm saying? To me, the concealer, is relative because if it's a light coverage concealer and I put it on a dark spot on my skin tone, it's not going to cover it very much. So is that a concealer? Because concealer means to conceal, you feel me? I like my concealers when I use them to be full coverage. Blending in the finger is really pretty. It's looking like I don't have anything on. I didn't put it everywhere like I said, obviously, because it will it just won't, it won't look right the further down I go. But this looks gorgeous. Now, I will be honest with you, I need more coverage. I like more coverage, I gotta do it. So, as a first impression, I do love it. If you want light, sheer, medium-ish coverage, this will be good for you. We got some other products to try, so we're gonna move on. This is the Gucci Foundation. Did a whole video on this. I love this a lot. I'm gonna do two pumps because I don't need three. This is full coverage, okay? Look, it's mixing well with the serum, but of course this is darker than the serum, which is what I like anyway. And maybe you wanna use this underneath your makeup, you feel me? But you still, in my opinion, need to put on SPF before you put that serum on to a 
illuminate the skin and or your foundation on top. Now you could be looking at this like, oh, that's a lot of product and it might be for you, but for me, it's not. My skin does not feel heavy caked. It really is what I prefer. I like full coverage. So this is what we're gonna do. This is the Save Beauty Foundation Brush and I love how dense this is. It's just thick, packed together very tightly. It allows me to get a full coverage application with the foundation. I don't remember trying Hourglass products and that is a shame, honest to God. I got two concealers from Hourglass. We've got Velvet Vanish and Mocha Vanish. I don't know, I'm gonna go with this one because I want it to be light. Let's see just how light this is. I like the applicator. Oh, this is very light. Okay, we're going in right away with light coverage, which is good. No need to build it up because obviously the other one was gonna be darker. Now I do have this sponge from Key Soul Care. Let's pinch and get this in. This sponge is nice and dense. It's more dense than I would prefer, but it still works really well. It reminds me of the sponge I used to use years ago. It's a black and white swirl. It reminds me of that. Meaning when you squeeze it, it doesn't go all the way in like a beauty blender, but you know, it still works. It's still blending everything out. Do you use this hourglass? Seela, let me know what shade you use. I'm gonna contour with an Old Faithful. This is the LYS Bronzer in the shade Worthy. You know I've used this for a minute. And this stick is, I feel like it's never gonna finish because it's so pigmented. I don't need to use as much of it. And it's just good, girl. It is so sinking good. Let's blend this out right here and get this product right into the hairline because we need a good old contour, okay? I was gonna go a little lighter with the concealer, but we don't have to do that, okay? It's gonna blend really, really well. I have this new powder I'm gonna try. <laughs> I hope it gives me some brightening. We're gonna, we gonna find out real soon. I got two powders from One Side by Patrick Star. This is the Sweet Honey one, and this is Ultra Pink. I've seen the Ultra Pink look really, really pretty. I, however, right now want to lighten my face, so I'm gonna go with Sweet Honey, because I don't, I'm not ready to do pink today. You feel me? I'm gonna try it out, just not today. So this is the ultimate setting powder. If you've tried this, let me know. <laughs> I love a good product. We got the dispenser in the shape of OS, O slash S. That's just so cute. All right, oh, cute. Okay, it just pops open like this. Get some of the product on the inside if it'll if it'll work i'm not sure if it'll happen that way no not really okay i'm gonna just tap some into the cap all right with the key soul sponge let's make sure that there's no creasing here and then this real techniques brush let's take some of the powder and first get right in here and then this sephora 99 brush taking some more of the product tapping off the excess and let's get everywhere else now i can't see this very well so hopefully it's coming out the way it needs to we're gonna get real close in one sec after i apply this wow this is really mad because i can feel my face tight that tightness tells me that this is very matte Wow. All right, we're gonna deepen the contour with this Rich 660 end shade in the Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundation. Now my face is looking very uh, <laughs> gray light. And it's also different for me because you know that I know I like to use the Luminous Press Powder under my eyes. So we're gonna have to get a little highlight going, a little glow return back to the face because it's a must right now. To pull the face in together, I'm gonna use this Four Micro Smooth Powder and the shade is 85 Espresso. This brush is the 80 brush from the Sephora collection. Nah, yo, my face looks very mad right now. It looks extremely mad, I won't lie to you, it's bothering me. <laughs> so let's get a little bit of supercharged ceramides with antioxidants. This is the Morphe Mini Continuous Prep and Set Mess. Let's get a little bit of this going on because I need my face to not look so dry. You may want this, that powder is good. I just, I need some hydration. Love how the skin looks and it smells nice too. Okay, I think it looks better. It still feels matte, but in a comfortable way. While the skin is not exactly dry, not exactly damp, I'm still gonna take this Kiso Care sponge and this Milk highlighter, and this is the shade Lit, and I wanna highlight some places. I always love doing the nose, upper lip, and definitely right here under the chin. And then let's go over here, because normally this area would be highlighted with the Luminous Press Powder, but since we didn't do that, let's go back to, what, five years ago, and let's highlight this side of the face right here. All right, it's coming together. I do have the Dior blush and I wanted the cherry one. Oh, this is the cherry one, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> the plum one was too dark and then there was one that was way too light. This is the Rosy Glow Cherry. I'm so irritated. What I, the reason why I got confused real fast is because this is coral. How is the cherry coral? Like, give me red, you know? It looks so beautiful and this is Dior for God's sake. So here's the Sephora 59 brush. Let's just put some right here in the apple of the cheek. Let's see what we looking like. Pretty, subtle. Build this up some more. Definitely soft, 
buildable, but still soft on my face. Like I would think I would see a lot more. Again, this is giving more coral, but not as pigmented. A natural, healthy glow effect. A lot of this high-end makeup is supposed to be more natural, more light. I believe the reason is because people who wear luxurious type of makeup products don't want full coverage. That's what my take is on it. This is pretty. I'm sure if you have lighter skin, this would show up faster, more pigmented on you. It is pretty, it is subtle. I would want more pigment. For instance, if I were to use the Denise and Myrick's Yummy Skin Balm, this is Golden Hour. I freaking love this. Just amazing. So imagine Golden Hour underneath this. I'm sure it would look stupendous, although Golden Hour does the job all by itself. It really depends on what you're trying to do. I think this is pretty. I mean, for God's sake, like I said, it is Dior. I mean, it is Dior, but it's not giving a lot of high power pigment. And I believe that's the point. You know, we're going real easy and light today using the same Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And this is a Sigma E, what? 61 brush. And we're just going to put on the eyes as an eyeshadow. I almost did an eyeshadow look. And I said to myself, yo, I used to always do eyeshadow. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Get the defect. I don't know what happened, but I got some eyeshadow palettes that I do want to try out. But this is a way that you could just really quickly and easily get you a good store glam look. Take your face powder. In this case, it's the Micro Smooth. And just put it on your eyes, isolating out the brow bone highlight because you still want that to look lit up. You feel me? And then to balance it all out, oh, what's his name? This is the Sephora 14 brush. Same powder right underneath the eye. You're basically doing a soft brown smoky eye. I do an intentional brown smoky eye most days, but this is a real fast look to do. Again, forgive the eyes. I feel fine. I just, my eyes are irritated, okay? So here we are, right underneath the eyes, blowing it out to the side it looks subtle but it's obvious it's obvious that there's something there which is nice it's very subtle soft but noticeable and we are going to make this look pop a little bit by using this blue liner from laura mercier this is the blue marine caviar eye liner pen and this is just a nice easy way to like i said amp up the look a little bit if it's really simple for our eyeshadow this is a single shadow palette with my mac old school liner brush we're going to add some liners on the top line this just makes it smoky looking soft but still noticeable because this is a color black. Always tapping off the excess and then left and right motions right above the eyelid. I always love highlighting the inner eye tear duct. This is also a milk product. It's called Color Chalk. If you've been here, you already know I use this stuff all the time. This is the shade Kickball. And this is a Sephora 24 brush. I got a new mascara from Maybelline. This is the Falsies Surreal Mascara. Well, let's try this out because I've never used it before. Ooh, okay. Now with mascara, I like to go side by side and then go up, of course. Wiggle it in an oval shape. Obviously go under and, or under the inside, obviously, as you saw, a little twirl. It's okay. On me, it's not like it's phenomenal. It's just okay. If you tried this, let me know. All right, we're now on our second layer. I mean, it is pretty. It's just not, I try so many different products now. I just look for amazing. I look for, ooh, I look for fantastic. I mean, this is nice. You could be looking at this like, excuse me, girl, what's your issue? It is nice. Let me stop. I mean, this is nice. It's just, you know. Does it look like I have on falsies? Maybe. What do you think? You come in, let me know. All right, for the lip, I'm gonna do my Old Faithful Sephora Collection 26 Cream and Stain. Listen, this is Old Faithful because it just works. And if it works, why change it, you feel me? I use it to line my lips. Although if you wanna go for a 90s look, put this all over your lip. Do what you wanna do, you feel me? I love this so much. Let's try this so that it doesn't move too much. Spread the lips so that it gets right inside the creases. And then right here on the inside, this is the MAC 24 hour lip color in the shade 62, which is bodacious. I almost said, but bodalicious, I'm annoyed. It's pink and I chose it to go with the cheeks a little more. I like these, I just don't like how loose they are. I like for a lip stain to be a little bit more thick, not as runny. Cause then when I do this, it won't sheer out so much. But if you if you like that, you'll like this formula. See, I can still see the pigmentation on my lips. It's not the end of the world. It's just not my preference. I like to go like this, and then the coverage is still there. All right, hair is back on. Again, all links to all products are below. I think this came out really cute. My skin still looks like what I'm used to. My skin still looks like skin. Not sure how the Keys Soul Serum played into it, but you comment, let me know what you think about it. This top, if you're wondering, is from Zara. It's from Zara. I'll link it below. I don't know if it's still available or not. But yeah, I feel pretty. The blue always adds a pop of color to the face when you are doing a very natural look. But let me know what you think about this whole look below, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.